We welcome and encourage Japanese investors to open new plants and factories in the United States, and that will happen. The Prime Minister has told me that will happen. President Trump discussing trade with Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe ahead of the G7 summit in Canada, which starts tomorrow. Tensions, though, over tariffs threaten to boil over in Quebec as Trump remains steadfast on his trade policies. We're bringing in one of the world's foremost legal authorities on global trade from Tufts Fletcher School of Law, Professor Joel Trachtman. Professor, thank you for being here. Thank you, Cheryl. So, Professor, first, what was your main takeaway from the news conference uh, in the Rose Garden last hour? Well, uh, I think that uh, it's, it's uncertain whether we'll see more Japanese investment in the United States. The, the Japanese invest in the United States to build Toyota or Nissan uh, factories that take advantage of the North American market and, and the ability to source uh, intermediate products from uh, Mexico and Canada and the ability to source steel and aluminum from all around the world. And if there are increased tariffs on those things, it doesn't make for a good investment in the United States. I recently read that uh, investment in the United States has dropped 23 percent in the past year. Uh, so I don't know what has caused that, but it may be reluctance to invest in a country where the ability to have supply chains for your factories is uh, in question. That's interesting. That's a very interesting take from you. That's why you're here. Let me ask you about the G7 at Quebec, Canada. This all starts tomorrow. It's being called the G6 plus one by, the, you know, you, normally it's it, the United States is the leader uh, when it comes to G7. We're the ones that set the tone, set the agenda, you know, bring deals to the table. It, it's being characterized as the opposite and that our, our trade, a uh, potential trade war against these countries is really going to cause some tension. What are you expecting? Well, I think you're right. The United States has been the, the leader of the West, and this is the group of Western countries, including uh, Japan, Canada, and, and, and all of Europe, as well as some specific European countries. And the United States has been the leader, but now it's looking like the, the rogue state. You know, in, last week at Whistler in, in the finance minister's summit, the other six countries expressed unanimous concern and disappointment. That's the diplomatic equivalent of screaming bloody murder. And uh, I think that President Trump um, will, will hear similar kinds of expressions of concern. And, and I'm pretty confident that he won't have much to respond with. He'll, he'll just uh, continue to say, I'm imposing these 25% tariffs on steel and 10% tariffs on aluminum products from your countries, from these countries that are our allies against, uh, against uh, other countries that, that truly challenge us. And, and those countries are, are understandably dismayed and, and angry and, and plan to retaliate against the United States. Sure, sure. I want to let our viewers know we're looking at Secretary of State Mike Pompeo. He's giving uh, the press an update on the uh, summit and the preparations for next week with North Korea. We're, we'll, if we're, we're going to listen. If we hear anything out of this, we'll bring it to our viewers. But I want to keep talking with you about kind of the, the larger picture here, in particular what we're going to be expecting uh, tomorrow and Saturday. I mean, look, we've hit. Uh, we've hit the, with the EU. We've hit our partners with these metal tariffs. You referenced that. But what about the retaliatory efforts? I mean, as you mentioned, they were in Whistler. That, that coordinated voice, if you will, amongst the G6, uh, pun intended on that one, do you think that that is a danger uh, to U.S. companies, a danger to the U.S. economy, even if President Trump doesn't listen uh, to what they have to say at the meeting? I, I think those countries have already said that they're going to respond. They're going to um, respond with uh, tariffs on United States agricultural products, on, um, on bourbon from Kentucky, on motorcycles from Wisconsin, on cheese from Wisconsin. And they're targeting the places where the most important representatives uh, have their constituencies. And they're trying to impose political pressure on the United States. And, and, and that will happen unless uh, there's yeah. uh, some sudden change in policy. So they're, they're, they're not taking a, a, a weak position and they're uniting against the United States. It's truly a G6 in that sense. Yeah, I mean, like I said, Pun intended on that one. It's it's uh, going to be quite the weekend. Joel Trackman, professor, thank you very much for uh, lending your voice to this. It's an important topic. Thank you, sir.